Good afternoon, everyone. Oops, I put Siri on the iPad by mistake. She's probably going to answer me. Oh, no. Well, it's Wednesday afternoon, 2 p.m. in Brisbane. So it is time for my weekly Facebook Live. Bear with me while I find myself on the iPad. Sorry I'm a little bit later than I had planned by a couple of minutes because I went to start and then realized my daughter's pinched my iPad and I can't see comments unless I have the iPad. So sorry about that now, just to find myself. And there I am. Okay, so hello everyone. And thank you for jumping on and watching me. Now, oh my gosh, I'm a mess today. I've just realized I filled up my little spot where I have my iPad to see comments with stuff. So bear with me while I clean that stuff. And it's new product and I can't show you it. Oh no. It's coming out in the January, June catalog, but I can't show it to you yet. So sad. All right, let's get this set up so I can see comments and oh my gosh. One of these years I'll be organized when I start, hey. Hello, Anita. I know it's been forever. Hey, I stopped doing lives there for a little bit. I've started them again now. So every Wednesday, sorry about that, I disappeared off camera. Every Wednesday, 2 p.m., um, I am back and making cards. So I hope you are all well. I'm just going to wait a little while for Facebook to tell everyone that I am live. And like you've got me, uh, no makeup or anything today. Daggy hair. Oh, look, it's all happening. But hey, I'm real. So, you know, can't get much more realer than me. <laughs> all right. So today I am going to be making this card. Snowflake wishes. Look at that. Oh, silver foil sheet. Pretty, pretty. And this um, sneak peek will be on my blog this afternoon at 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Time. And I have made a little video and popped it up on on YouTube about a really quick like process video. So it's just while I was making it, and that's what I've started doing, and I'm hoping people will like it. When I go, when I sit down and make a card, I decide I'm going to video it while I'm going through the process of making it. So you can sort of see a bit of behind the scenes of what goes into making cards. Um, I don't have like a preconceived idea of what I want to make. I have a rough idea. But I don't have like it sketched out or a sample to follow. It's in my head a rough idea. So I'm just putting the camera on now. Then I sit down and create that card. So you can see the process of selecting the paper, selecting um, how I want it laid out, that sort of thing. And then I, I speed them up because obviously you don't want to sit there for an hour watching me choose what paper I want to use. Sometimes it can take me a while. Um, so I speed them up. So they're, they're what I'm calling like a process video. It's just a really quick overview of making a card. Um, and then I thought I would run through today how I made this because it's really super easy. It looks pretty, but it's super, super easy. So if you can hear my dog barking in the background, I apologize. I don't know what's got into him today. He just wants to bark a lot. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to turn you around and we're going to get started, okay? So if you uh, get a bit of motion sickness, and you don't like looking at the camera while I flip the phone around, then turn away now and I will let you know when we are back and you can see my desktop. So bear with me while I flick you around. Okay, we are back. You may look at the camera again. Now, when I flip the camera, uh, the sound is going to be a little bit quieter. So if you struggle to hear me, turn your volume up or put headphones on. It's because of where the microphone is located on the phone. When I'm doing face forwarding, the microphone is there facing me. When I flip you around, the microphone is now pointing at the ceiling. So I have to like project my voice for you to hear me. Uh, sometimes that doesn't come through that great but that's why the sound um, reduces when I turn the camera around so if you can't hear me yell at me give me a don't give me an angry face just 
yell out, type your yell, and go, hey, can't hear you, speak up, and I will. All right, so let's get on to making this card. I am using the Snowflake Wishes stamp set. Apologize for any glare from my lights. And the So Many Snowflakes dies. Now, if you're a regular viewer of mine, you will know my dies are always in a mess. <laughs> ah, but, you know, I don't have to be pretty for me to be able to use them. But they all still work the same. I just fish them all out and then choose the ones I want. Now, I wanted to tell you about... Oh, my gosh, this one's stuck. Why not use this one? It's so stuck to the packet. The tape they are on is so strong. So if ever you get one stuck, doesn't want to come off, don't force it. Because some are really, um, I think it's a poinsettia one, are really fine and they will bend and possibly break. So move the paper under it, like pull the cardboard away rather than trying to lift off the die. So just move the cardboard away from under it. Whoops. And then that makes it a lot easier to get it off. doesn't matter if you bend your cardboard. It's only cardboard. You're not going to use it. Just to put your dies on. Alright, so there we go. So there's all the snowflake dies. Now they're all just whoops, throwing them around. Pre snowflakes. So it's stuck. And they all cut out the different snowflake shapes except for this one. This big one. And you'll see I've used it on the card here, that's at the back. It cuts out the individual pieces of the snowflake but not the whole snowflake so when you use it it's going to cut out the pieces as you can see here but not around so you're not going to have an individual snowflake in your hand to use on a project you're going to have a piece of paper with parts of the snowflake cut out into it okay so that's the one that's a little bit different but it leads to great techniques you can do with it and one of them is putting this beautiful foil paper behind so that is what we're going to recreate today all right hello Leonie thank you for popping on and joining me so I'm going to keep that one out the other one I'm going to use is I think this one because I've stamped the snowflake there so I'm going to um, cut that out and then I've used another small snowflake, which is this one, because I've got some silver foil stuck in it. So I'm going to recreate this card. So like I said, it's a sneak peek of this afternoon's um, card on my blog. But that card I, this card I've done on my blog this afternoon is for a blog hop. So make sure you pop over to my blog, Simply Stamping with Narelle.com. And head over and see what everyone else in the blog hop has created. Because they're also very talented. So I'm sure there's going to be lots of lovely things for you to um, take a look at. Alright, now I need a, a coffee. Sorry, it's been one of those mornings. Oh, there we go. That is better. Now I've got nowhere to put my coffee. Oh my goodness. Alright, put it there. Okay, so my card is what they call a tent fold card, so it stands up. Now I find these a lot more stable than your normal um, portrait card that has a front flap that opens and stands up. Any bit of wind or um, you don't have them open enough, they're going to fall over. And particularly if you have a lot on the card front, it makes it heavy, so it's going to fall over. These tent fold cards I find are a lot more stable, takes a lot more breeze to blow them over and that's my preferred style of card now really easy to make you just get a piece of a4 cardstock cut it straight down the middle long ways and the measurement i always use is four and one eighth i know i'm an inches person sorry if you're not and that's it we now have two card bases you just gotta fold them and burnish them and you've got two cards how easy is that Alright, so I just, I don't measure for my score line, I just fold it in half and then burnish with my bone folder and we're done. Simple as. The next layer we have is our designer series paper 
which is this beautiful snowflake splendor i believe it's called i can't read upside down it's again snowflake splendor designer series paper in this beautiful mint macaron really really pretty right now my card front measures four inches sorry four and one eighth inches by five and um 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 five and seven eighths inches i think let me double check that five and yeah close enough to seven eighths just you know a fraction of a millimeter short so my layer i like to do is four by five and three quarters but i think this one i made a little bit smaller because i wanted more of a white border to match my sentiment so this one I have done at three and seven eighths. Now I'm going to write this down because you know my brain is not going to remember. Three and seven eighths by five and oh gee, I haven't done that even. I'm saying five and one past a half. So let's do five and a half. Make it easy on my my poor little brain today. I'm still traumatized from what my son did last night. Oh, it was his birthday and he used his smoker and he burnt himself quite badly on his hand, on his fingers. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't bad enough to have to go to hospital, but it warranted a trip <clears throat> to the chemist to get a stronger um, burn cream than what we had. And I'm probably talking and I've measured that wrong. Three and seven eighths, no, by five and a half. Excellent. And now, you know what I've done? I don't have my silver foil paper handy. <gasps> Wait, this is always something I'm not organized, am I? Okay, I'm back. So this I saw as well, I think, was it this was low inventory? So if you want it to make your Christmas cards, make sure you um, jump in now and get some. The other thing I noticed on, on low inventory as well is the window sheets. So if you want to make shaker cards this Christmas, jump in and grab it for it. You have to wait for it to come back in. Alright, so our silver foil sheet is going to be the same size as our piece of DSP we just cut. So it was three and seven eighths by five and a half. So who started their Christmas cards? I've actually started writing mine out. Because like I make Christmas cards for blog hops and stuff like that. So I already have a stash of cards. I don't need to make any special for Christmas. So I started uh, getting ahead of the game and writing them out for all my customers and team. So I was writing some out the other night. My husband says, what are you doing? So I'm writing out Christmas cards. He goes, you do realise that it's only October. I'm like, yeah, but you know, we know how quickly it comes up on us and we're so going to be last minute rush. You have Trish, well done. Anita, you've done 30, ready to send overseas. Yeah, I guess sending overseas, you'd have to do them quicker, hey, earlier, I mean. All right, so now we are simply going to place our snowflake on our DSP. Hey Christy, how are you going? I hope you're still resting and relaxing, making the most of not having, not being able to do anything. Play it up, honey, play it up. <laughs> you know, I possibly can't get up and make you breakfast. You've got to do it yourself. <laughs> I can't make dinner, do it yourself. <laughs> All right, we're just going to run this snowflake through. <coughs> Sorry. You started Christmas cards? Yay, well done. That's good to see so many people starting the cards already. None of this last minute madness. Right, we're going to pull off our snowflake. And you'll see. Look at that, all our little bits. Now I could put that on my mat and scrape it off, but use the dye brush tool, but there's not enough to warrant, so I'm just going to poke them out. Yep, 
you're okay and yes you're playing it up good girl yes that's what we want make the most of it did I say all right and then we're going to put another one what is that stuck in there there we go another one down the bottom try not to run into that snowflake it doesn't matter if you do because the sentiment's going to go across the middle stick this one down now before I run this one through my machine you'll see it left this lovely gump on my plate so I just use an old gift card old credit card and you just scrape it off like that so easy and it's gone now normally I wouldn't scrape it on my desk I'd put it on the bin but you can't see that because the bin's under the desk all right so just gonna run this one through so it's so easy, nothing hard yet on this card. This is nothing hard at all on this card. Right, this one I'll scrape in the bin because I'm going to end up making a huge mess. Okay. Poke out our extra ones that didn't come out. Normally I can like flick them or poke, scrape them with my nail and the really loose ones will just pop out by themselves. Nearly there. So while we are here talking about this beautiful designer series paper, I just love this paper. Um, don't forget our designer series paper sale is still on goes until the end of the month and it is 15% off and uh, on selected papers there's 15 papers on special so make sure you head over and take a look it gets boring when you can't do anything I oh, know laying down you just woke up oh good on ya there's only so much TV you can watch hey before you go a bit bonkers Right, so they are going to sit on the base of our card, but if you see on my sample, I added a few extra snowflakes in, in mint macaron, just to lift it a little bit more. I felt it needed more on the background. So I've used this little arrangement of snowflakes. And mint macaron. And you just stamp a few up here. And you know what I've realised? On my original car, I stamped off first so they weren't so dark. So this will just be a little bit different. But it doesn't matter. It's just a bit of interest on the background. So now this one is ready to glue onto our silver and I'm hoping that you can see enough of those snowflakes. I'll put the sentiment there, you should be able to see them. Okay, I'm hoping I've got, it's hard to see with the die cut out and the pattern on the paper that I've got glue everywhere. I'm just going to hold it in this bottom left corner to hold it in place so I get it straight and lined up. I don't want to be like moving it around too much because I would expect some of the glue that I have near these bits that are cut out to actually show through on the foil if I had to like move it around to get it lined up. Alright, and then that is not um, put on with dimensionals I have just glued it to the card front so we'll do that now so it's out of the way and we have less pieces taking up our workspace make sure your card is opening the right way you don't make an upside down card that wouldn't matter with this one at this stage but if I didn't check guarantee I would put the sentiment on upside down be interesting all right so there's the base of our card now we're going to stamp our snowflakes and cut them out. So I need some more Wistful White cardstock. And 
and I think I have used, oh, which one did I use? That one. That one? No, it was this one. Oh, alright. It helps if I put the stamp on the block so it doesn't, um, yeah, hang over because I'm not going to get a good image if it does. So I've got this die that's going to cut out this one. So I hope everyone is well and it's, uh, you're not impacted too much by the lockdown in Victoria if you're down there. We've actually been really lucky in Brisbane. We didn't have that big a lockdown. We definitely didn't have a curfew. I don't know if I would have been able to handle the curfew. Not that I go out of a night, but it's just the mental thing of, oh no, I'm stuck at home. I think that would have more of an impact than actually the physical not being able to go anywhere. I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel, so we survived it. Hopefully 2021 is a much better year for all of us. Isn't that cute? Okay. So thank you everyone who's watching. Don't forget to pop in and say hello so I know you're here. Your dog gets so many walks before because of it. Is that because you can't go anywhere else so you take the dog for a walk? <laughs> Our poor dog doesn't get any walks because he escapes his harness. <laughs> so we have to wait for him to grow a little bit. Grow into his harness. Oh my goodness. Oh look what I've done. I wasn't careful enough lining up that die cut and I had it off centre. So these ones I will hide under the sentiment a little bit, but see, you shouldn't talk and try and do stuff, line stuff up at the same time. So it worked for me. And now we just need two of our little silver snowflakes. Concentrating, I can't talk. Not much you're able to do, Anita. You're in regional Victoria and can't travel. Oh, that would be, yeah. But I'm sure your dog's loving it. <laughs> yes, our poor little one, he is 10 and nearly 11 months old now. Um, we took him out one day, went for a drive, and we went, oh, let's take the dog and he can go for a walk at the other end. Put his harness on him and um, hubby's walking along and then he goes, wow, it's really light at the end of the lead. Looks down, the dog's running off and he's still holding the lead with the harness and there's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, little bugger managed to get out of the harness got his leg, one of his legs out and then we got out of it without us noticing. So we're all too scared to try again. <laughs> but we must put it on him and let him walk around the house with it I guess and then we can see whether he, or how long it takes him to get out of it, if he can still get out of it. He's really grown a little bit since then. It's probably been a few months since we've done that. So hopefully he's grown into his harness. We had one for him that was the right size and then he outgrew it. He grew obviously like puppies do <laughs> and um yeah he got in the next size up 
and it's just a bit too big for him. And we've um, brought in the straps and everything as much as we can, and it's it was just too big, and he managed to get his legs out. So, we to wait till he grows into it. So we're all a bit traumatized after that event. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So now we are just going to pop on our snowflakes and put the stems of your snowflakes between I don't know if that's what they're called stems I don't know what word is it he's beginning to hate walk three times a day oh the poor thing three times a day but I guess it's good exercise for everyone else <laughs> all right so this is on a dimensional and like I said this the stems whatever they're called the branches of the snowflake are between the cutout ones here so that it stands out and doesn't cover our beautiful silver foil. And now I've got to find some mini ones to put on the... Look at my stash of dimensionals. Oh, there we go. I've got. Look at that. And invariably I pick up the wrong size to what I want. They're just the ones I've got sitting in my tray. I've got a whole container, tub full of them. Just can't run out of dimensionals. All right. Sticking. Stop sticking. All right. Oops. I'll make sure I've got it in the middle. But you know me. New enough's good enough. Hey Kathy. How are you today? Should I tell everyone our funny story yesterday? It was hilarious. It made my day, Kathy. It made my day, I tell you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'll only tell the story if you say okay. Okay, so Kathy said it's okay to tell the story. <laughs> she made my day. I was I was, wasn't having a great morning and I was a little bit not upset but I was like frustrated over something. Anyway, Kathy and I had a little chat on Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and then five minutes later she's FaceTiming me. I went, Oh, she's got something she wants to tell me, she doesn't want to message me about. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yes, okay. So <laughs> She's like driving along, she's in the car, and she's driving along, she's going, oh wait, I've got to find somewhere where I can pull over. So I waited a few minutes till she pulled over, and then I go, so, what do I owe the pleasure of this call? And she's like, huh? I said, you called me. She thought I'd called her, but she called me, because her phone was slipping on the seat next to us, so she reaches out to stop it slipping, and accidentally FaceTimed me. <laughs> Oh, but we had a lovely chat with her sitting on the side of the road. Oh, it was good. <laughs> oh, you gave me a giggle. And it was so, it was so good. I needed that giggle. So next time you want to accidentally FaceTime me, it's all right. <laughs> all right, so this uh, silver snowflakes, I'm just getting a, a glue dot, mini glue dot in the middle. And I don't know if you saw, paid attention, probably not, because you're too busy doing other stuff. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I twirl them around into a little ball using my take your pick tool. Because they're too big for the centre, they will become tacky on the outside because some will be showing through. So I just grab my take a pick tool and I just roll them into a little ball. I do that a lot with like bows and stuff. You're clever like that, Kathy. I know. You're multi-talented. That was funny. Made my day, tell ya. Alright, so we have our snowflakes. Now we just need to there. Yeah, now we just need to do our sentiment. What I was trying to say. 
Oh my gosh, why is this card taking so long? Probably because I'm talking too much. Is that what's going on? Alright, let's find a piece of card stock. This one looks good. And I'm going to emboss it with silver embossing powder with my fan on. So what can go wrong? Hey? Oh! Right, let's get a bit of paper. Well, maybe not that because that was a weekly update. Uh, let's find something else. It's pretty mild. You can't get any secret information you're not meant to have. Alright. This edge is a bit raw. So I'm going to trim that off. I'll tell you, I'm not organised. I didn't think to get the embossing powder out. That's why you love me. Or you just watch to have a good laugh. One or the other. Silver. Alright, we don't sell the embossing buddies anymore. But you can quite easily use, um, like make your own. Talcum powder, corn flour, anything like that. Just to take the static off the paper so your embossing powder doesn't stick to where you don't want it to stick to. Get our sentiments. And sorry I gotta reach across to get my Versa mark. stamp to one end so that I don't have to try and trim both ends to get the right amount of distance to make sure it's even. This could not work though so I'm going to stamp along the edge so I don't have to trim there either. So I think that looks right. Hopefully it's straight. Sorry that was a bit loud. Okay, that looks good. Flick off, there's a little bit extra here, so just turn it over, give it a flick, and that should disappear, which it had, has, I mean. Never waste your embossing powder, straight back in. And if you happen to spill any, um, the cleaning cloths that you have for like the Swiffer, the, um, you know, the I don't know what they're called. They're like a broom thing that you have the cloth underneath that you wipe over your floor with that are um, st um, staticky. I used to have some here. I don't know where they are now. Um, they're really good. Let me find them. Yeah. I don't know where they've gone. I don't know. I had them handy and they just use them to wipe over your um, surface if you spilt any embossing powder and because they're they're staticky, it picks it up. You know, end up wearing it everywhere. You never get sick of seeing that embossing powder melt. It's just magic. Right. So now we are trimming our sentiment down. And that's our last step. And we're done. Fingers crossed that was straight because I didn't hold that down. And I also didn't measure this on the front. So this one I measured accurately, this one I didn't. And look at that. 
Wow, that was pretty close. Woohoo. Right, so that just goes on with dimensionals, which are out here somewhere already. There we go, done. Really easy, a little bit um, more time consuming because I have used a, a little bit of die cutting and we've done the embossing, so that all sort of adds to the time. But there's a slight variation on this one. Obviously my sentiment strip is wider. I haven't trimmed it as close as I did this one. And I stamped my snowflakes in um, mint macaron on both but this one I stamped off first so it's paler this one are a little bit darker so you can let me know which one you prefer whether you like the lighter snowflakes or the darker snowflakes and thank you for watching everyone I'll see you back here next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Australian Eastern time not daylight savings time and I've already worked out what I'm going to be doing I'm going to play with this bundle, the Sweetest Time Bundle. I've used the Holly cutout, but there's a really cool candy cane cutout as well. So I'm keen to play with that. So I think I might um, make a card using them next week. Thank you for watching. You can purchase all the supplies I use in my online store. I will link to it after this video at the top. And don't forget the designer series paper sale that is still on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, what else? My stampy by mail using the gift wrapped bundle is closing tomorrow. Registration is closing tomorrow. So if you haven't seen that, I will also put a link to that. And um, register for that before it closes. And what else? I think that's all I had to tell you. Thank you so much. Take care everyone. Happy crafting and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.